Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, and today I decided to make a winter 2019 lookbook of four of my favorite outfits this winter, so I hope you like them. So outfit number one is a piece I call Neon Animal. It's a great go-to outfit because it's chic and it can be worn on so many different occasions like hanging out with friends, going on a date, making a YouTube video, or going to an event. I also love that the shirt matches my hair and think it's kind of funny because there's a dinosaur on my shirt and then a leopard print coat, but no animals were actually harmed in the making of this outfit. I got these ripped jeans that came with the chain from Dollskill and they're super comfy and laid back, but can also be dressed up with some boots. And these black ankle boots are from a brand called Strategia that I found at Marshalls once and they're currently my favorite shoes. The Basquiat dinosaur shirt is from Forever 21 and I thrifted the coat in Rhode Island like five years ago, but then I left it in a bag and I kept meaning to get it dry cleaned before wearing it and then five years later, I finally did it and it was definitely worth it. The bag is from Teddy Blake, which is a brand that makes really nice high quality bags and is called the Bello Viteo 10 inch, link down below. And the nail color I'm wearing is by Butter London in the shade Ruby Murray, which perfectly matches the glasses I'm wearing. The style of these glasses is called Hush and it's in the color Raspberry from I Buy Direct, which is a website that makes fashionable and affordable lenses, which is also why I have a different pair with a different vibe in each of the looks that I'm showing you. And since I don't really have one single aesthetic or style that I stick to, I do like to have some variety in my eyewear choices. So huge thanks to iBuyDirect for sponsoring this video, giving me a discount code to share with you guys, and for turning poor vision into fashion. <laughs> So on the site, they have over a thousand different frames and they're all really affordable as well. They also have the option to include a blue light filter, which filters out blue light when you look at screens. And I found that really useful for editing. So I would definitely recommend that. And mine are prescription lenses, but you don't have to order a prescription. You can also get non-prescription and they have sunglasses as well. And I'll link to all the styles that I'm wearing in this video, as well as the coupon code in the description. So outfit two is called Rest in Peace Tumblr, cause I don't know what kind of blogs you followed back in the day, but Soft Grunge was one of my favorites for a while. And I remember I was super into androgynous and grungy outfits. So this is something I totally would have worn back then and would still wear now. This dress is from Dolls Kill, kind of reminds me of a kindergarten teacher dress, which is why I liked it. The Doc Martens are Doc Martens, a staple. And then I'm wearing thermal leggings underneath the dress because it's winter and you have to figure out how to do fashion and warmth at the same time. And I'm here to tell you that it is possible. I added this floor length fur coat on top to keep me warm and complete the aesthetic. And this coat is also thrifted and is the warmest coat I've ever had and is such a lifesaver in New York City winter. I topped off the look with I Buy Direct glasses called Mood in the translucent shade. My outfits pick out my mood for the day, so when I wear this one, I feel kind of feminine and kind of bad at the same time, so it's definitely a vibe. Outfit three is what I call Maybe I Don't Hate Winter. Most of the time when it's cold, I just dress to be comfy and warm. And because I've been loving this oversized sweatshirt from Forever 21, I've been wearing it a lot. It's super comfy and it's such a happy color, which honestly helps get me through these rough winter days. <laughs> then I got my baby hairs laid. And these lenses are actually my go-to everyday ones called Archive in the shade Burgundy. And I picked these out before dyeing my hair specifically because I'd already planned out the color and I've never really seen glasses in this shape or style before so I wanted to try something new and go out on a limb and I'm really glad that I did. Also, if you haven't seen my tutorial for this hair look, 
I've linked that in the description box down below if you're interested. And while you're down there, you might as well check out my other socials and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, but only if you want to, no pressure. So these pants are from Dollskill and they're really interesting and easy to make a comfortable outfit with while still making it look fashionable. I'm wearing the Docs again for comfort and warmth and a black coat on top for maximum comfiness. The only thing that could make it more comfy is a weighted blanket, but even I'm not that fashion forward enough to do that one in public. Now my last look is called Middle Class Bookworm, and in this look I'm going to be transforming a warmer weather outfit into something you can wear when it's a bit colder. So we're starting with this dress from Dolls Kill, and I love the color and the pattern, but if I'm going somewhere in the winter when I get inside and take off my coat, I want to be warmer than this, so I'm simply adding a sweater on top. This one's a tan loose knit from Zara, and these suede boots are from Urban Outfitters. I thought the color went really well with the pattern on the dress. And this entire outfit was inspired by the lenses since this was the first look I thought of after seeing the glasses, which are called Vantage in the shade gold. I feel like after adding the cozy sweater, I should be indoors reading a book in the library while it's raining outside or something. I don't know. What would you guys do in this outfit? <laughs> All right, so that was the last look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the description box for links, the coupon code, and my other social media. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in my next video. Kisses. Mwah.